So I thought it would be fun today for our meditation to do our legs up the wall meditation. Now I usually do this here in this corner of my lounge on my own so I've propped you up on the sofa. If we have any fall overs I haven't got any music on so hopefully I'll be able to hear um, the, uh, the foam falling off the arm of the chair. Um, I'm going to use a blanket so if you want to get your mats and find a bit of wall which you can put your bum against the bottom of the wall and rest your legs on the wall. I know some of you this doesn't work for, so if it doesn't, go back and find another meditation that does work. If you feel woozy at all, if you feel nauseous or just strange, come out of the pose or rest your legs down the wall until you feel safe to roll over. I have got the dog right next to me, so um, if I have to roll over, I'll have to roll onto him. But hopefully we'll be here for a little while. Uh, enjoy being part of my meditation. This is a little part of my daily or weekly routine. So I am going to have a blanket to hand that's nearby so that I can be all tucked up and warm. But first of all, I will show you all how to get up the wall. So I'm going to go this way so that my legs can come around. If I went that way, I'd be in the door. So we slide our left hip, for me, because it's left that's against the wall, up against the bottom of the skirting board. I have then got my left leg wanting to come around, so I'm rolling that hip right like you're trying to get in the wall. I am rolling it around, getting as close as I can with my weight into my right hand. The left leg has to come up, it has nowhere else to go. We come down onto our elbows and the other leg comes up. You can then fidget around if you're not quite comfy. You can walk yourself in towards the wall. Have those toes flexed if you can. If you're more comfy pointing them up, that's fine. And like I was saying, some people this pose just doesn't work for. So you could draw the soles of the feet together. Make sure, word of warning, that if you are behind a door, I know that nobody is going to come through this door, but just make sure that everybody knows that you're doing this and what you're doing. This is your quiet time, that could be disastrous. So make sure you're nice and warm and cosy, taking your time about it. Pop your eye pillows on if you've got them. And let's meditate together. Huh, haven't done that very well. Take your time getting all cosy and warm. <coughs> Sorry. So, legs up the wall meditation. Some of you have done it with me before. It's fantastic for all of the body systems that involve hormones or the secretory systems. So it's really good for our pancreas, it's really good for all of the blood flow around the body because it's just completely changing. It's like doing a handstand without doing a handstand. And the longer that you can be here for, the better. But don't stay here for too long. So we're going to notice that we have got the legs up the wall, we're comfy, and we can breathe the space between the toes. We release and we relax through our arches, our heels and ankles. Letting go through your calves and shins. your knees, thighs and quads relax. Release and let go of your whole hips and pelvis. Let go of your belly and in to your chest. Breathe. 
your tailbone. Feeling that change of blood flow through the lower back, up through the shoulder blades to the nape of the neck. Release and let go. Softening through your shoulder blades and shoulders, down to your elbows, down to your wrists, your fingers gently curl into your palms which are warm and relaxed. Visualize a beautiful healing energy in each palm. Release and let go. Softening through your collarbones, your throat and neck. Release every hair upon your scalp. Your forehead, eyebrows and eyes let go. Your nose, cheeks and ears soften. Your jaw unclenched and your tongue falls softly within your mouth. Allow your whole body to release and to let go. Enjoy all of the health benefits of legs up the wall. Enjoy your time here today. Come out of it when you need to, but if you can, do the whole meditation with me. And I will be right here to guide you back when the time is right.
taking a deep breath now, taking a stretch. Let's draw those knees down the wall and let's slowly, slowly curl up onto our right hand sides into a fetal position. We have to wiggle a little bit down our mats. Just feeling ourselves grounding down. This is almost as important as being up the wall, this part. So we're noticing as we curl up how we feel. We're breathing. We're letting go. We're visualising roots growing from the soles of our feet. We're anchoring to the earth. Take a deep, deep breath. And as you're ready, let's slowly push ourselves all the way back up to sitting. Taking your time, finding yourself in a comfortable seated position. Take the palms of the chest, palms of the hands together and let's ground down through our crown, our third eye, into our throat and down to our hearts. Thank you everybody. Namaste.